the urgent task for humanity is to integrate everything we do into the web of life. And given that challenge, you know, there's no better source of ideas than life itself. There's an idea that we're playing about with, based on bird skulls. So this is a 3D printed model that we made of a section through a bird skull. And you know, bird skulls are absolutely phenomenal because um, there's been this really strong selective pressure on lightness. And so what you get is these incredibly thin layers of, of bone, like shells, and then they're connected together with struts and ties. So it's, it's like a combination of dome technology and space frame technology, all in a humble garden bird. And it's an example of, of what biology does brilliantly. You know, complex structures that achieve phenomenal efficiency by putting the material in exactly the same place. And that's why 3D printing and 3D manufacturing could be a real breakthrough for this. Because previously, this would have always been more expensive because it's more complicated. Now, it could turn out cheaper because you can use far less material. Um, so what we're proposing is, is an idea from this combined with biomes mycelium insulation. And the, the idea is to, to make a, a, a plywood panel, um, incredibly thin bits of ply with these uh, little struts in between. And then we can fill that with the mycelium insulation. It all binds together um, extremely uh, uh, in an extremely strong way using a, an absolute minimum of materials. So um, well, why, why is this significant? Well, I think the ideal would be that we could build houses just with the materials that exist on site, partly as a way of, 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 of saving materials, but also to reconnect with place. And that, that would allow us to build in a way that takes carbon out of the atmosphere, and to assemble materials in the right way so that we can achieve near perfect circularity. And to um, draw to a conclusion now, I've, I've been a little bit irreverent, so I'm gonna finish with a, a note of sincerity. Um, I think there's a, there's a growing group of change agents now who are really starting to hear what Janine said 25 years ago. The urgent task for humanity is to integrate everything we do into the web of life. And given that challenge, you know, there's no better source of ideas than life itself to, to show us how we can do this. And that, that's why biomimicry is such a powerful combination. It's a combination of humans' capacity for invention ab initio. And out of thin air, we are able to think of things. And we can combine that with the most amazing source book of solutions in biology. It really is. 3.8 billion years of research and development. 3.8 billion years of brilliant solutions illuminated by previously unparalleled scientific knowledge, facilitated by previously unimaginable design tools. We have never had such an opportunity to rethink and design solutions fit for the next billion years. Thank you.